Oh wow, that was brusque. Jesus. Okay. Uh, let's go to this guy. Kind of looks like Jack Black. <laughs> um, Russell. What happened to Russell? This doesn't really look to be tying in with the main story in any way. Okay. Oops. I've got like 60 miles left, I think. Ain't shit. Okay. And all of a sudden... I see something over there. Okay. A corpse. Okay, nothing we hey, haven't seen before. You getting up? Obviously not. Can you not see your skin? Good. Ah, right. I see. Fair enough. Sun setting though, by the looks. Yeah. You don't want to be traveling the road by night. Ooh, hello. What's shit, that? Shit, shit. Ooh, is that the truck that. Hide. Is that the truck that. Uh. Oh! Oh, oh shit! Gross, man. That is Carly! Fuck! I see you culling with your girlfriend down there. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. God. What's your Ooh. name? Uh. Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Not in a gang. It's fucking racist, man. Jesus. Hey, now, I ain't no racist. I just call them like I see them. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. I ain't gonna wait forever. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. Okay, so yeah, this does tie in with the main Name's story a little bit. Way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh. Here you go. Um. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? This is the fucking apocalypse. This is like nothing. No, I'm just good, all right? Okay. All right, all right. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? Must have been with a crew. Ugh. So... Tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. No! No, uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right. Your argument's semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. <laughs> all right. There was seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They're all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was his okay. guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... He... Killed them? Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it... I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. Fair enough. 
I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. But hold on, this guy's tail light, uh, front light is busted. Uh, busted. So yes, it is busted. Daughter, it's busted, no, right? Didn't. So does that Who mean? Strong six. Just tell me something about her. How was the rack? Jesus. Give me a little something. Just a He's that desperate. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I put it right in here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman is all we got left now. No laws, no jobs, ain't nothing that make us men. But they ain't eating all the women yet. What so you're a rapist, that's what you're saying. Let's try this again. All One of right, those hopeless romantics. Jesus. So, was he? What the fuck? Come on. Scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, Whoa! Salmon before she was hot, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. What the hell? Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, hell! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Tell me, Russ. I'll kill you. Damn it! No, you won't. You're no fun. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? What an idiot! Would you load that? Bullets in the glove there. Okay, so he was definitely with the guy, well, or with the crew that came after Wyatt and that other guy, right? Also, what the shit is that guy about? Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Stop being a. I. What oh, the shit? shit? Go! Get out! Uh. Russ, get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! Uh okay. okay. Get ready. Don't stop running and keep your head down. No. Oh. Was I hit? Ooh. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. Ugh, oh, what an asshole. All right. What are we going to do? First, we're going to figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. No idea. Come on. Get out. Oh. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. Alright. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. I like how my door is closed on the inside all of a sudden. Is it closed? I think it's closed. Yeah, Just it's keep closed. Pushing. Yeah, with a flat tire. Ah, Jesus, this is hurting my thumb. Oh, come on. Why are they shooting us anyway? Shit! Push! Uh, uh, end of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. Um, you gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. Uh, I'll go. cover you. You go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Uh, my ass now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! All right, throw me the gun and I'll cover you. There's no way there are going to be enough bullets left. This just seems like a bad idea altogether. 
go! Good job! Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go! Then again, um, if you wanted to kill me, you could have done it a long time ago, right? Oh shit, was I hurt? Was I hit? Or did I just trip? Because tripping seems to be a thing in this game. You saved my life. Whatever. We got more work to do. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this ass. Follow me. Please tell me you, you took a spare um, a spare clip from the car or something. Gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home cooked meal, all right? All that shooting is going to attract walkers, though. If they're only in the area. Of course. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me, you got it. Alright, let's go. I'm sorry that I'm relating back to this again, but if anything, Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I'm actually happy that Carly didn't turn, as you can may or may not tell. I was kind of a fan of Carly's. Nothing there, I think. Hey, okay, what do we do now? There we go. I think I saw a guy. Oh, you did? Grab him. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Just jump out and grab him. Your call. How is he not hearing that? Who the hell is that? Seems to be an old guy as well. Don't fucking move! Walt! Oh! Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! What? First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn okay. reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? What the shit? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see! Fuck you, Nate! I saved your ass! You didn't do shit! Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on! Can we still be friends? No. But how's that going to solve anything? Did he really just kill those people? Fucking hell. I like how he just walked away, like, yeah, whatever. Don't hurt them. Yeah. Cause cause I said so. Jesus. Ugh, okay, what happened to Shell? It all seems to be centered around the same hotel, though. Red's Diner. No, no, who are you? Well, I assume that's Shell.
Okay. Hey, Shell. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Oh, so that's Becca not had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? That guy in the back, the black guy. I recognize him. I don't know from where. Um... I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Wasn't he with the old folks in Crawford? He's a good kid. These are shit times. She's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Fair enough. Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? Um... That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, hmm. Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. <laughs> all right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to, work, to Boyd's hard in... work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, Yay. let's get to it. And there was you much rejoice. You Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Hmm. Okay, okay but be careful. But be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. The watchdogs? Sure this is a very fortified feeling I'm getting here. Fantastic. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Good, good. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Ooh. Is that... The diner uh... looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. That does help things along. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. <gasps> the cornfield? You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The cornfield. So these were the pe Oh, yeah, actually, I recognize the silhouette with the long hair. Yeah, okay, so these were the people who were shooting at... Leland and uh, D and Bonnie, I think. And this is definitely the same diner that um, Russell and had to bottle our water before it ran out. That other guy we're in with the uh, the old people. Although I can't seem to see the old people here. Oh shit! You scared me. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. What the fuck? It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. Um... I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. But why is the use of that, What's though? That I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. I was actually hoping for real dogs, but yeah, okay. Don't get... Yeah, I was about to say, don't get too close, fucking hell. But why, though? Why would you keep these? Why not just kill them outright? What does that serve? Oh, God. <gasps> Is that the old lady? <sighs> and what is that walker eating? Ugh. 
Looks like a dog? Or something? Yeah, that is definitely the old lady. So, hold on. The... Russell thing came first then? And then he shot the two old people? Where she is one of? Actually, that doesn't make sense because I, I would assume that they would be shot in the head there. Whoa. Don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. Oh. I guess it just got to me. You know? It was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then... Oh, was it even a puppy? Know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Yeah, that is Maybe sad. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. That's cold. Becca... Becca, something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Okay. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. It's so okay to be there. Jesus. What the hell? My God, Larkin. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. The second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Ah, uh, so that's what, well, what was in that bag. Like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, mm -hmm. nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. Um, that's racist. judging him based on race? Of course That not. always works. But come on. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last also, is something moving behind the truck? We lost Bree, and then oh, Bree. with that Ooh. damn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting oh. strangers. Vernon was out for the stranger's boat the whole time, and at the first opportunity used us to take it from his group at gunpoint. I knew I recognized them. When our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. But why would you do that? Fuck you, Roman. Shell, come on. Roman's right. We need to protect ourselves first. Yes, but not at the cost of your own humanity. We've been it's over this. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? You set him free, fucking hell. We have to set him free. <laughs> We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If 
we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. Yeah, this girl, she's getting it. She understands. I'm not ready to let that go. Is he just going to do it anyway? I'm free. Oh, there we go. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what Give him some food. When, three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. Get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you'll wish you had died today. That's a little bit morbid. But I guess it's better than killing him. Do you have okay. any floors? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. We shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last uh, time... Shit. Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Um... Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Okay. Don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay Probably here. not. It'll be just what a minute. Seems? I'll fill you in when I get back. Uh, what now? Ooh, planter. How come no one's watering these? Unfinished painting. I guess that was Boyd's then. Judging by the look on her face. Let's talk to Joyce. What do you have to say? Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what, what? is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh, oh Jesus. What are they going to do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Okay, so that was a member of our group, yes? That was the one with the long hair, the one that taught... Um, Becca had to play the guitar. Is this really necessary? Roman? Okay. Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel... I don't know... oppressive? We've made it safe. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. 
She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? <sighs> it doesn't matter. It matters to me. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. No! Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? Wait, I'm That's going to have to do this? 100%. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? Um... What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my She's god. She's getting to know more about it, isn't she? What the hell did she do that for? Roman oh, says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she Whoa, do this Jesus. to Whoa, Jesus. Oh, little bitch. She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. How can you be... Literally... That cold about it? You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. The but for how group long? is brittle as hell, apparently. No longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Fuck it all. No. no. I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. Well, here's the thing. If I drive away, then that girl, Stephanie, or whatever her name is, is going to be dead for sure. If I take the gun, I might still have a chance of convincing everyone. They do say kill Stephanie. Well, okay, I'm going to go ahead and assume that there is no other option after I picked a gun. So that will be bad. That means I've got blood on my hands. Driving away, however, we've got little to no supplies in this caravan, at least of what I have seen. Um and would be with just a two, then again, we'd probably be better off. Okay, I'm going to take the gun in the hopes that I, I actually get another shot. You in danger. If that means this is what we have to become... No, 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 no. Give me another choice. You can't just... 
Ugh. You can't just put a gun in my hand and say you have to pull the trigger now. Because anything that I choose right now is going to be wrong either way. I'm sorry. Yeah, I bet you are, you cold blooded bastard. Me too. Please give me a choice, because this is ridiculous. Just fade to black?